Lionel Bissell has rejected a $14 billion bid from India's Reliance Industries. Billionaire Makesh Abani was in competition with Lionel Bissell's creditors for a controlling equity stake. For more on the story, we partner with the FT to bring you Lexon Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times a flagship column a day early. Ben McClanahan joining us now live from Hong Kong. So, Ben, first of all, what happens? Well, our reporters in New York are still trying to stand this story up, but it, it does appear that uh, Lionel Bassal, as you say, uh, has rejected the latest uh, improved offer uh, from, from Reliance Industries uh, for control of it. It seems the creditors um, and their restructuring plan that they presented in December uh, will, will win the day for them. So, I mean, is Lionel Bassal this confident? I mean, what does it say about the company? Well, if you look at the monthly updates that they've been required to, uh, to post uh, ever since they entered uh, bankruptcy back in January and that the holding company in, in April, uh, it's not really uh, anything there that's the hallmark of, of a healthy company. Uh, losses have narrowed, yes, uh, from, December, uh, from November to December, from 303 to a net loss of about uh, 60 uh, million. But that's mostly down to equity investments that are unrelated to the company. And it's still got this enormous financing burden. Uh, you look at operating losses of about 125 million. Uh, they're matched exactly by interest payments. Uh, underneath that uh, of 125 million. So Reliance uh, was bidding for a very distressed asset and its initial bid came in at 12 which was pretty full and it's gone up to 14.5 and that looks uh, about high enough. Uh, ben what are Reliance's options then at this point? Well, the options are basically two. It's not saying anything. I tried to talk to the company today. There's, there's a firm uh, stone wall there. Uh, it, it can raise the bid or it can walk away. And um, my contention is that walking away at this point is, is, is the better option. Uh, Mukesh Ambani, the chairman, is, is a big cricket fan. And every cricketer knows when to declare. Uh, 12 billion to 14.5 billion was a big uplift uh, for a distressed asset. And uh, at 14.5, it values uh, on an enterprise value basis, uh, Lion del Basel, it's about eight times, which is in line with the global sector. And and is in fact slightly more than um, than uh, uh, Reliance itself. So at this point, um, I, I think it's 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 a good time to call it quits and to pursue opportunities elsewhere. There's no shortage for Reliance. Uh, it's got its eyes on assets uh, in, in Canada, and there's also fending off um, Chinese competition. So there's no shortage of, uh, of options. Ben, we thank you so much. Ben McLennan joining us there from Hong Kong for the FT.